Welcome to the first video in section one, Getting Started. This section will introduce you to document assembly with A to J author and how it is being used to bridge the justice gap for hundreds of thousands of people each year. It will also give you a high level view of the tech involved in the process, including an introduction to the A to J authoring suite of software tools. It will give you the skills you need to decide on a project, scope it out, and begin creating your A to J guided interview. Beyond just the techie stuff, we're going to cover the art of automating the law for pro se litigants, because it is an art form. Translating the legal requirements of the form into the technical blanks someone has to fill in is one thing, but overlaying legal information, contextual knowledge, definitions, heuristics, and a hand up rather than a handout for the pro se end user is the magic here. Before we get any further, I have to give a little history lesson to put this automation magic into context. Here's why Callie is involved in access to justice. Study after study has shown there is a civil justice gap. For years, it was shown that roughly 80% of the civil legal needs of the poor went unmet each year in the United States. More troubling, though, is that in the most recent study by the Legal Services Corporation, released in April of 2022, it's now showing that it is estimated at 92%. That's 92% of low-income people face at least one legal issue a year and don't or can't deal with it. Statistically, 13.1% of the U.S. population was living below the federal poverty line from 2016 to 2020. That's about 42 million people. With another 15-20% to 20 living near poverty that would likely be income eligible for legal aid, you get about 100 million people who need legal assistance each year and often don't get it. Now, these people aren't just dealing with traffic tickets. They are dealing with traffic tickets, though, that can lead to enormous fines and even imprisonment. But more likely, these legal issues are life-changing events. Child custody cases that need to happen and don't. Domestic violence petitions that don't get filed properly and restraining orders that aren't issued. It's credit card or medical debt that results in default judgments and docked paychecks. It's foreclosures or evictions when a landlord or loan holder isn't following the proper legal rules. These civil issues are often just about the worst situations that many people are coming to find themselves in. Now let's talk about why they aren't getting the legal help they need. Even if people identify their problem as a legal one and make it to a legal aid organization and are income eligible, just those three big ifs, 50% of the time they are turned away due to a lack of attorney resources. Often it's much worse. Last year, we worked with Nevada Legal Services on a grant, and they shared some statistics with us for the grant application. In Nevada alone, a legal needs study found that there were 147,000 legal issues a year among people who were living at 125% of the federal poverty guidelines or below. Legal service providers were only able to serve 24% of these people that year. Across the country, people are regularly turned away from legal aid organizations. With nowhere else to go, these people, by necessity, become self-represented litigants. One of the most challenging aspects of representing yourself in court are the forms. As you know, they are written by lawyers for lawyers. They are overly complicated, full of legal ease, and oftentimes too difficult for self-represented litigants to complete on their own. By design, forms were meant to be the gatekeepers of the justice system. So to recap these sunny statistics. There are about 100 million people who are too poor to afford a lawyer. There aren't enough free or low-cost lawyers by 50 to 75% of the need. And when the people are forced into this court system with these legal form barriers, they're only dealing with life-changing issues. That's where Ada J. Author comes in. Callie and Chicago Kent Law School developed Ada J. Author in 2005 as a tool that transfers the legal expertise of a lawyer into an automated form that can be accessed thousands of times 24-7. It multiplies the impact of a single person's expertise in a low-code platform. A to J Author breaks down an interview into manageable chunks for the end user, asking a single question or for a single piece of information at a time. There is a pathway motif with a guide avatar representing the trusted legal expert and an end user avatar representing the end user. They walk down a pathway to a courthouse, answer questions, and get additional legal assistance as they go. The end user is given definitions, legal explanations, and examples in the form of text, 
graphic, and videos. The first version of Ada J Author was released in 2005 as a Flash-based application. It underwent a major facelift and technology overhaul about a decade ago. A to J Author has evolved into a user-friendly, accessible, mobile-responsive web-based tool that allows lawyers, law students, and other legal professionals to build out incredibly complex expert systems. These A to J guided interviews have been used over 8 million times by self-represented litigants in 44 states and 4 countries. In 2023, we helped 518,706 people to learn about their rights, what legal remedies were available to them, and to complete the paperwork they'd need for court. We saw traffic from 152 countries, with most people coming to our interviews during their lunchtime. We had over 3,000 new A to J guided interviews created and another 1,700 modified. Our just-in-time learning features, which you'll learn about later, were used hundreds of thousands of times. 187,000 pop-up definitions were clicked, and 205,000 additional explanations called Learn Mores were used. About half of those 520,000 people access the interviews on their phones. We're so excited that you've decided to join this cohort of legal technologists tackling the access to justice crisis. Now that you have an understanding of the impetus behind automating court forms for self-represented litigants, why Cali created A to J Author, and what makes A to J Author special, make sure to move on to the next part of this getting started section and learn about the basics of document assembly.